Well, today we're talking old bones, not these old bones, specifically from Backbone Bourbon Company, Old Bones 10-Year Straight Rye Whiskey. Let's do this. Today we're taking a look at from Backbone Bourbon Company, Old Bones 10-Year Straight Rye Whiskey. So if you know a little bit about kind of what it is Backbone does, they are sourcing from MGP. They do hold back a lot of these older kind of aged uh, whiskeys to then launch under the Old Bones title. Today we're going to take a look at specifically again the 10-year old Old Bones Straight Rye Whiskey. So without further ado, let's kind of dive into this a little bit more. We'll take a look at the color and uh, see what we've got here. So as you can see, color-wise, beautiful kind of mahogany, kind of deep, rich, kind of copper type of color to that. I always love to move the whiskey around in the glass, kind of see some of the oils. Hopefully all of that will help kind of translate over to the palate. Really nice and oily, I would say, so far on the glass, clinging really, really tightly uh, on there as well. So I'm sure you've heard and seen all the buzz around this brand, Z-Biotics. The question is, what is it? And what is it gonna do for you? Today, we're gonna to take a look at that right now. So Z-Biotics is the first of its kind. This is a probiotic drink that breaks down the byproduct of alcohol that just gives you that after morning sluggish feeling after maybe enjoying a few too many cocktails. So how does it work? Simply prior to enjoying your favorite alcoholic beverage or heading out on the town for the evening, simply open up one of the bottles within the box and enjoy it. That's it. You're on your way to then feeling much better, much more productive the following morning without having that after morning sluggish feeling. For me, I like to use these right before doing a barrel pick. When you're going through Rick houses and you're enjoying or consuming samples, this will assure that the morning after you don't have that after morning sluggish feel. So I have to say a big thank you to Zbiotics for sponsoring today's video. Make sure you check out the link in the description below. Use code MYBOURBONJOURNEY. Enjoy 15% off your order. Again, use code MYBOURBONJOURNEY. And a big thank you goes out to Zbiotics again for sponsoring today's video. All right, let's dive into the nose. So right away, you do pick up a lot of that tendency of an older whiskey. You've got some of those kind of like darker, richer notes, more of that Rick House kind of effect. Nice, sweet, rich oak on that. Also getting like a beautiful mint. It's more of a mint, mint chocolate chip uh, kind of combo. Yeah, quickly follows by this beautiful baking spice that's there. So you get some of those like strong cinnamons, nutmegs, maybe even a slight bit of like a clove or something along those lines. And then also here, a little bit of a kind of apple, caramel apple, caramel apple pie maybe. There's this buttery kind of texture to it, maybe more of, um, again, like that pie crust. And then also I'm getting, in addition to the green apple, uh, a slight citrus note. So it's a little bit of a combo of both an orange and maybe like even a lemon. Yeah, again, those beautiful baking spices. Again, more of that kind of Rick House effect, maybe slight char aspect to it. Yeah, and again, this is one of the things also I'll say about an older rye whiskey. You tend to get more of those earthier notes, kind of a, a rich, like deep, dark, um, kind of musty, dusty kind of, um, you know, aspect to those because they've sat in those barrels um, for a considerable amount of time, you know, picking up more of those kind of older Rick House, older oak kind of note. So we'll go ahead and dive into the palette right now. Cheers. This is interesting. So the combo here is right away that sweet, rich oak, beautiful, well-balanced, not over oak by any means, followed quickly by that, that orange citrus. I'd say less of the lemon is there like it was on the, on the nose, but more of that lemon mint chocolate chip kind of note. Again, beautiful baking spice on this. The layers of it are, are fantastic on this rye whiskey. Again, that, that really nice orange. It's very, 
kind of holiday Christmas in a glass. This is a whiskey that I think you just want to continue to kind of sip on. The layers of the sweetness, the oak, the orange, the chocolate, the mint, all of these are really well balanced in this whiskey. I'll even say there's a slight smokiness that's there. And again, that's probably fully attributed to the age ultimately of this whiskey. It being, uh, this one's actually just over 10 years. I think it was 10 years, one month. But again, the balance of it is one of those things that I look for in an older whiskey where it's not so one or two dimensional, where you have a lot of these flavor profiles along the way. And this whiskey is setting up exactly how I would love a, an older rye whiskey to kind of be set up. Yeah, again, I think there's still a little bit of that kind of barrel char that's there. Slight black pepper, not a lot. I'll, I'll say it's still overly viscous. It's got a velvety texture. There's not a huge bite, like kind of on the back end. So I was getting more of that earthiness on the nose than I am necessarily on the palate. I think this is sweeter on the palate with less of those earthy tones to it. So everything I've kind of described, you know, up until now, it's just kind of set up where it's really well balanced and you start to pull out all of these kind of different flavors along the way. And that's one thing I love or always enjoy about an older whiskey is as the whiskey sits in the glass and you kind of continue to sip on it, what more are you going to find? And I think this is one of those whiskeys that will do that for you. So if you kind of take your time, sip on a little bit, I think it'll definitely pull out some different kind of flavors, uh, flavor profile for you. So a very, very well done straight rye whiskey so far. Yeah, I just kind of keep coming back to the fact that this tastes and smells like what you would expect for a Rick House to smell like. If you can taste a Rick House, this is all of that. It's just done very well. So the blend that they've done with these, it's just consistent with everything that I enjoy and hopefully that you'll enjoy in an older rye whiskey. So like I said before, you know, those beautiful oak notes that are there, again, without it being overdone, are all there. The citrus notes, again, on the palate, more of that orange, chocolate, chocolate chip, caramel, again, a little bit of char from the, the barrel, less earthy notes on the palate than I was getting on the, on the nose. But the other thing that I think has remained kind of tried and true all along the way has been the continuous baking spice. And then one of the other things I'll add on top of that is how velvety, how creamy it is. The texture of the whiskey is, is really, really nice. So all of those combos really lead to a nice kind of medium long finish. And I'll say the continued mint, chocolate chip, orange, baking spice, nice, sweet, rich oak are all there, all carrying over to the finish. So if that's a whiskey that sounds like something that you would enjoy, I wouldn't hesitate one bit to go and find this rye whiskey. I think this will really appeal to a lot of people considering the balance of it. There's that nice sweet, you know, there's that nice sweetness that it offers with the continuous baking spice oak without it being overdone. So I think the blend that they've done with this is spot on. I, I just think it's a really, really well done uh, rye whiskey and kudos to to Backbone Bourbon Company for releasing this under their old bones, um, you know, kind of label. So again, I think they've done an incredible job with this. So there you go. If this is something that sounds like it would be a rye whiskey that maybe you would enjoy, uh, I'll have a link in the description below to old bones. You can maybe kind of check that out a little bit more Backbone Bourbon Company. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in today. Really appreciate you checking out another review. Uh, if you'd like to help uh, support the channel, you can through my Patreon page, which I'll have linked in the description below, which also allows you to be part of the Mash and Journey Whiskey Club. And if you'd like to follow me, you can on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all of those places at My Bourbon Journey. One more thing before you go, if you're enjoying the content, 
make sure you hit the thumbs up button and make sure you hit the subscribe button. Going into 2023, really trying to grow and build the channel, bring you guys some more really nice content. So if you can do that for me, I would greatly appreciate it. So guys, once again, thank you very much. And remember, it's about the journey and not the destination. Cheers.